and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. The beer for today is going to be kind of a special beer. Uh, I haven't really reviewed like a big limited beer in a while and I thought I would break this one out from my cellar. It's a Lost Abbey beer and it's the Lost Abbey Angel Share. And this is not the regular Angel Share but the bourbon uh, version which is aged in Heaven Hill Wheat Whiskey or bourbon casks. Um, Thing is, it's only been released or bottled twice so far in back in 08 and 09, and this is the 09, 09 version that was released in 2010, and I've had it for quite some time now. But yeah, it's a barley wine, as I said, aged in bourbon barrels on 12.5%, and this is one of those, uh, by the way, the Angel Share is a reference to um, when you make whiskey, the whiskey, the the liquid that evaporates, you call that the Angel Share. But, um... Yeah, it's uh, one of their limited beers, and I'm really looking forward to trying trying the, this. But I am kind of unsure about it because I've had uh, I've had these limited kind of beers from Lost Abbey's Les Port Brewing before. For example, their Older Viscosity, good beer, but it was stiff flat. Uh, but hopefully they've changed it. I've heard it should be better in these kind of bottles, carbonation wise. But I'm just gonna read a lot the info here in the back, and it says. Way down in Kentucky and across the pond in Scotland, distillers age the whiskey for many years in oak barrels. Over time, some whiskey is lost to evaporation. They refer to this laws of spirits as the angel share, as I said. Each time a barrel is filled, a measure of this liquid seeps into the oak and is lost forever. Our angel share is a barrel-aged burgundy colored ale infused with copious amounts of dark caramel malt to emphasize the vanilla and oak flavors found in the freshly emptied bourbon barrels. Each batch spends no less than nine months aging in the oak. As with all of our beers, this beer is brewed for sinners and saints alike. So be an angel and share it with a friend or two. Let's say that's enough. As you see, I didn't really get any head. There is a small lace of a brownish color on there. Wow, it's opaque, the color. You don't get any light penetrating the beer at all. The color is a dark, dark brown uh, kind of color. Uh, with some reddish notes in it. I can smell it already, so let's dig into all the aroma. Wow, lots and lots and lots of bourbon in the aroma there. Really, really complex and smells really, really sweet. Uh, lots of uh, bourbon, molasses, like brown sugary notes, dry dark fruits like a fig, raisin, vanilla, some booziness in there too. Yeah, there is some slightly phenol alcohol note in there. I mean, you can see like the lacing on the glass of the alcohol is just insane, but... Yeah, a lot, a lot of woody, oaky notes along too, with the bourbon. And the vanilla there. And then like, like a caramely, toffee aroma to it too. It smells like a really, really big and really, really complex beer, so uh, yeah. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah, that's sweet. If you don't like sweet beers, you won't like this at all. And if you don't like beers that are very, very light, car lightly carbonated, you won't like this either. Carbonation. This is one of those beers I think that it's got like a 100 on rate beer. Um, there is a slight like effervescence in there, uh, but the carbonation is barely there. But still, it's a 12% beer. The body is kind of thick and viscous. A, a sticky mouthfeel. You can really feel the sugary, estery, uh, feel like a glossy, sugary, sticky feel on your lips when you drink it. But it's a sipper. It's definitely a sipper. Uh, flavors, it's really complex. I, I, I get a, a lightly old toasted note in there right now, actually, in the aftertaste. But the flavors in there, dominated by a lot, a lot, a lot of oak and whiskey, a bourbon. There's a ton of that. There's some very sweet, nice, vanilla -y, Notes along with like a lot of caramel and toffee. Oh yeah, and then a lot of lot of dark fruits. The dry dark fruits, fruit fruits, <laughs> dry dark fruits, <laughs> dark fruits like vanilla, bourbon. Um, and price wise for a beer this rare, it wasn't actually that bad. It was one hundred and twenty five kronas, which is about six. Uh, it's about twenty, a little more than twenty dollars, I think, uh, which isn't that bad and in Denmark for such a special limited beer, but 
the others. That oakiness and there is an almost uh, and oh, a thing that surprises me: no taste of alcohol in the air at all, and you don't taste the alcohol at all. There is the warming sensation though in the throat, but for a twelve percent beer, it doesn't drink like it. It kind of drinks like actually maybe a, uh, uh, like body wise, uh, uh, almost a whiskey kind of because there's so little carbonation. But but of course, it doesn't give you the insane burn and all. Uh, but really, really complex, and especially the dry, dark, fruity flavor there. It's kind of like a, like a, if you can picture a, like a plum, or plum, sorry, fig, like that's soaked, or raisin soaked in like a whiskey bourbon kind of flavor. You kind of get that. The caramel, toast, yeah, there are some toasted notes in the back, uh, in the back end, but really huge, really, really sweet. Yeah, also molasses, there's actually a lot of molasses in there, and the caramel, toffee, kind of syrupy, well, it's on the syrupy side. Uh, really, really nice party wine. Uh, huge, huge beer. Uh, definitely great for weather like this. It's raining outside, man. Also, it's hit like two weeks ago in Denmark already, and it's just shitty weather. It sucks. But perfect for a day like this. Really nice beer. Um, best party wine I've ever had? No, because I would have liked a little more carbonation on it. But complexity and all, it's really nice. So, so rating wise, for the Lost Abbey Angel Share. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 90. It's a really, really nice, really, really cup or bourbon version, by the way. It's a really, really nice, really, really complex barley wine, but um, for 73 Floyd's Behemoth, uh, their barrel aged version at least, I think it's better than this. That's just way harder to get. Or I know I, I, this is probably pretty hard to get, but I still get this because people don't want to purchase. Uh, or they don't want to pay that much for such a small bottle, I guess, because it's still on the store shelves, so maybe I should pick some up uh, to age. But yeah, that was probably one of the best barley barley wines I've had, and it was on tap, but yeah. But this is still a really good barley wine, so definitely a 90 for the um, Lost Abbey Angel Sierra Bourbon Edition. Hmm. Yeah, and guys, uh, remember to let me know what you think of the beer if you've had it. Uh, maybe you think it's too sweet, maybe you didn't like it because the, the carbonation is missing. Um, to me personally, it kind of drags down some grades, the carbonation is missing. Uh, there isn't much at least, but there's kind of an effervescence. But still, it's got some nice flavors, so that's in that sense it's a plus. It's definitely got more carbonation than the uh, older viscosity from 09. That was dead flat. This has got a little effervescence, so that's nice. But yeah guys, that's it for this review. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out my Facebook fan page at Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers, guys. And I'm going to see you in another beer review.